Hello everyone and welcome to a new video here on my channel and finally my sleeve tattoo tour video. Everything about my sleeve tattoo, anime sleeve tattoo. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so before I show you everything in detail, I just wanted to quickly give you guys some info about it. So first of all, when I decided that I was going to get this done, I'm gonna get an anime sleeve tattoo and it's gonna be great. I needed to know what kind of tattoo did I want and I personally wanted a new school tattoo. So the tattoo artist that I went to is called Victoria and she is here in Sweden, Stockholm. I had been following her on Instagram for a very long time and she also helped me out completely with the design. So I just said to her what kind of characters I wanted. I sent her photos. I actually told her that I didn't want any type of red. It might look like I have some red in here, but it's actually just more like a really dark pink. That's what I told her and she designed this beautiful arm and I just said, it looks amazing. I want it and that's it. Thibaut, that is a child. And now for some general info about how much it costs and all of that. So first of all, you can see the whole process on my vlogging channel where I started off with just doing the lines and then I did like the background colors and yeah, all of that. So it took eight sessions. I think I started in June 2021 and I did my last session in February 20. 22. And obviously those sessions were full days, so in total it took around 38 hours. I paid every single session and around a thousand Swedish crowns per hour, so a hundred US dollars per hour. In total of that, that was 3,654 US dollars. Let's start from the top. And let's start with Appa. I didn't really want like just a normal character, like a human. So Appa was the absolute best choice. He honestly sometimes just looks like a sticker because he has just the most amazing shading and Victoria just did an amazing job on him. He just looks so cute with his little bangs. And also we have the blue background. It's like a sky theme and then earth so here is a bunch of clouds in the blue background and here in the back this is how far the tattoo goes the clouds by the way we were going to fill them in with a light blue color i think but it just looked really nice and blended in very nice into my own skin when we had it like this. So we obviously have House Moving Castle. It's going to be a lot of Ghibli <laughs> because, I mean, obvious reasons. The detailing on this is just insane. And then further down, we have the Spirited Away Bath House right there. Also, the detailing is just so pretty and I love the green. So there we have that and then underneath here we have my favorite One Piece character, Tony Tony Shoppa. <laughs> he is just one of those characters that are kind of, to be honest, it might not work perfectly with the sleeve but I love the manga, I love the anime and uh, Tony Tony Shoppa just has the most amazing story and just love him. <laughs> we have the little suit spears right here that goes very well into the uh, more earthy dark part of the tattoo. So yeah, we have those there, but then we have Calcifer right here, but we did make him a lot cuter <laughs> than he is in the movie, obviously. Um, also something, I don't know if you can really tell, but obviously here's the bathhouse and here is the um, the pathway. So kind of it goes together with this because this is obviously also the pathway. So next to Calcifer, we have no face. I really hope you guys can tell 
that obviously he is a spirit so he is transparent also we have the um green uh like bushes right here that i just absolutely love that we also have right here i just really love how the green and the blue looks together <laughs> and further up here we have uh, bow bow how do you pronounce it in spirited away here's some water drops for those of you that know you know he's also just the fucking absolute cutest next to a bow we have my favorite rick from death note he's just so cool i love his eyes i love that he has yellow teeth and he looks really scary so there we have rick blending into the elbow and the suit spirits and then we have a little spin so you can see everything so then we have my favorite enemy of all time attack on titan we have erin right here as a titan look at the little drool that she did and like the teeth and the eyes everything is just looking amazing and then if we spin a little bit we have okay here by the way it goes up to the suit spirit so it blends really really nicely here is erin's uh, hair and ear but here blends perfectly into attack on titan again <laughs> um so yeah the entire like underarm is pretty much just attack on titan <laughs> because again it's my favorite uh i'm not gonna be a spoiler person so we're just gonna say the titan <laughs> the big titan uh right there and then we have Aaron right there as a kid or teen i guess and i just have to give you guys a really good close-up right here because the details on this as well is just insane like look at the houses in the back it's just insane what someone can do with tattooing right um and then if we spin my wrist around we have some really cute suit spirits right there that matches perfectly into this like fire theme that we have going on so yeah so there we have it how much do we love it i would give it a 10 out of 10. i feel like it is unique in a way <laughs> and uh, it's just colorful and it makes me happy to watch and i love that it has the darker parts but also the very fun and colorful and cute parts everything that i am i'm cute yet edgy and uh yeah <laughs> i'm gonna stop i'm gonna go through a few of the questions that i've gotten from you guys so first of all a lot of you guys asked how do you pull through a full day <laughs> getting tattooed me and victoria uh decided that it worked good for both of us if we just had like a five hour day more than five hours it's just it's just not fun i think that i went for seven hours when i did my my thigh and that was just horrible and it wasn't fun for me it wasn't fun for the tattoo artist it was much better to have like a five hour limit but that is obviously something that you and your tattoo artist talk about but my best best tips is to bring something sugary to drink and a protein bar bring a warm hoodie because i was freezing so so much like after the three hour mark or so I just started freezing my ass off. And then my best tip, and this is something that Victoria told me because the absolute first session after the full day and I got home, I was sick. I was freezing, I was having like a fever. And she said that it can really help if you take some ibu ibuprofen. I think that is how you pronounce it, but ibuprofen tablet i took one like right when we were done and then i took one when i was home and it really really helped because ibuprofen is anti-inflammatory um and uh, yeah it just helped with the ibuprofen so take my advice or don't <laughs> then for some healing tips first of all and my best tip is to not use something called saniderm it's the type of uh, plastic that you put on and it sits like a second skin every time i have used a plastic like that i've gotten the 
worst rash. If you have used it before or gotten it uh, and you've not had any problems with it, then obviously you can keep going with it. But I would just stay away from it because I know that a lot of people that I know personally and I've seen online that has gotten really bad rashes from it. So just tell your tattoo artist that you just want normal like cling, cling wrap and you know tape. And then obviously, as you guys know, the healing tips is just to wash it. I washed it like one or two times per day and then use a moisturizer. Is it called moisturizer? I would really go for a very lightweight formula if you have a really big tattoo or if you have color tattoo because I used my hustle butter which is a very very thick like coconut feeling to it. I think it actually is just coconut butter. I actually got some really weird like bumps on the blue. Even if I applied it really, really thin, it was just too thick, um, at least for a tattoo like this. And also during summer, it didn't work. The tattoo goo was something that I uh, got from Victoria and it worked absolutely amazing. It was just the best. And then some people asked about Tebow. Obviously you should not have a dog laying on your new tattoo. It's just like a big wound. So what I did, I actually cling wrapped my um, the part that I had gotten tattooed the first like two days and then I slept with a long armed sweater and tried to keep Tivo away as best that I can. Yeah, but after like two or three days I just keep the having the sweater on and that worked perfectly. I didn't have any problems with it. Here is the questions that you asked me that was not already answered in all of the other steps. For the band colors question, if you didn't know, the European Union, I think it is, have banned a bunch of tattoo colors. You would think that they would have banned like a red because red has a lot of allergic reactions to it, but no, they have banned this color, like a lot of the blue and very bright like green colors i think which sucks luckily at least for victoria she's really good with mixing colors so she just have to like mix her own colors she can't just like buy this blue color anymore she will have to mix it herself with colors that are okay which part is your favorite so that i kind of answered but i would say that rick is my favorite favorite i just love the placement of him and i love that he like peeks through a little bit when i have my arm like this also he's just a really badass character so what's not to love am i right i want to know by the way what part of my sleeve that you guys like the most and then someone asks most painful spot i would think that the elbow would have been the most painful but the really painful part was when for example i remember i would say that rick is was the pain, most painful part but not because it was really here but the most painful part about it was that <laughs> victoria did like half of rick and then she did something here for like two hours and then after two hours she wanted to do something more here <laughs> she went over the already tattooed part that was very swollen and it was just so so painful i was watching when she did it and as soon as the needle touched my skin i breathed out and had a really like sad moment <laughs> but that was like after a few hours when it really really hurt uh and i just had to like Go through it the first like hours it didn't really hurt i would say and not to be like cool and be like it didn't hurt it obviously hurt but um not at all like the last hour <laughs> and then for the last question is do you want more tattoos and if you have any more plans and obviously i want more tattoos um i would love to be like fully covered when i'm laying on my deathbed <laughs> what i already have planned is that i'm gonna do a uh, tebow tattoo so uh, you guys already know i have this arm i have a uh, left arm uh if you didn't know and i don't really have that much on it but i do have my dog vincent's uh, paw print right here it is like a mem memorial tattoo so i really want something about tebow right here and i love my um cow 
tattoo right here. Maybe I could have something similar right here, but with Tebow. Uh, and then obviously, I'm not done. I'm gonna do my hand, <laughs> but I don't have a really good idea for it. And if you have any ideas, please write them down below because I really need help. Me and Victoria was talking about it and I was like, first of all, you want something extremely cool on the hand because it's going to be visible a lot. I want something like smaller going up the fingers, but I don't really know what. We were talking about having different um, masks, like a Demon Slayer mask or something like that. So we'll see when I do that. <laughs> so that is it. Everything about my tattoo sleeve. If I have missed anything, you just comment down below and I will answer you, of course. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I hope that we will see each other in the next video. So be sure to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. Bye guys!